Uh, he removed or at least lessened many of the uh, issues uh, that had helped to create a revolutionary situation. Shortly before he came to power, he voted for the removal of all the Townsend duties except the tax on tea. He left the tax on tea, which was very small and which would have made very little difference to Britain's national debt, but it was a symbol of Britain's power to govern America. It was very important to him that America acknowledge that Parliament had absolute power over America. Uh, Britain had had two revolutions of its own in the 17th century. It had its own revolutionary settlement, often known as the Glorious Revolution of 1688, but it was uh, a settlement hammered out in the 10 years after 1688. Uh, it was not a written constitution, but was the closest that Britain really had to a constitution. It included a Bill of Rights. But the main uh, result of those revolutions was to make Parliament part of the permanent structure of government and a key component in government. Uh, and the idea that the colonists would uh, refuse to acknowledge the authority of Parliament to him represented a challenge to the entire British constitution. So he insisted on that, but he gave ground on many other issues. Uh, a lot of the colonies were enabled to carry on producing their own currency. Uh, the restrictions on Western expansion were lessened. Uh, troops were moved out of the center of uh, Boston. <clears throat> and it seemed at least that uh, the crisis was over. Britain was more worried about a war with Spain in the early 1770s than revolution in America. It was ironically a policy that was aimed to fix a problem elsewhere that helped to spark the American Revolution. And Lord North was responsible. He created the policies that were to be the catalyst for the American Revolution. And the key one was his East India Tea Act. Uh, the idea of this act was not to put a new tax on America, uh, far from it. It was actually going to decrease the amount of tea duty being uh, paid, uh, or the, rather the cost of tea upon which the duty was paid. Uh, he was essentially trying to help Britain's East India Company, which was having financial problems it was too big to fail, and this was a huge corporation. Uh, you could almost see it as the first of the multinationals. It had its own army, its own navy, its own administration in India, and uh, it was financially faltering. And so the East India Act passed in 1773. The idea of it um, was to help reduce the cost of uh, tea. Uh, North could never understand why this caused such commotion in America. He didn't even bother to alert the governors in Jamaica, or his, uh, in, in America, or even his own uh, secretary for America, uh, because he hadn't uh, foreseen that uh, the reduction of the cost of tea would uh, affect the situation in America. The problem in America was that they'd been drinking smuggled tea, and that the cheaper price of English tea meant that they were much more likely to be paying the duties. Even so, it was a minority who really reacted strongly, but it led crucially to the Boston Tea Party, where the three tea ships arrived <clears throat> and the uh, packages of tea were thrown overboard uh, during the night into the Boston harbour. 